and a very good day to all my viewers out there. Uh, right now it is Thursday, September the 21st, 2017. We're here at Angrion Park. It's approximately 5.19 p.m. at night. And I uh, thought I'd kind of take a break from all the noise and ruckus and chaos from the city and just come out here at Angrion Park and kind of share with you a little bit more of a relaxing scenery. And of course this is Angrion Park as I mentioned right now, Angrion Metro which is behind me. And uh, you know it's kind of like a little sanctuary within the city. And you can see here a beautiful little stream. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk through this little forest area here that we're coming up to. And we're going to find, if we walk through there, we're going to get to a nice little lake. And I um, just want to point out a couple of things. First of all, you can see very somewhat, you can see a little bit there, the leaves are starting to change. Obviously now we're technically in the first day of autumn right now. I just realized that it's this 21st today. But you can see down here even more so how those beautiful leaves are changing. So we're going to walk around here and try to absorb the scenery. And, you know, hopefully I'll get a couple more videos this autumn. Actually, I am going to get a couple more videos of the beautiful leaves changing color, which is starting to pick up pace. Overall, not a lot have changed yet, but, uh, you know, sometimes fall comes a bit late. It has been a warm start to the fall season, so that's probably why a lot of the leaves are taking their time to change. So let's go through here. It's a nice little wooded area. And again, a lot of the trees are still green, but uh, just wait and they will eventually change color soon enough. There's some snails. Try to get a closer shot here. You see those a lot in the spring and throughout the whole summer. And uh, we'll walk right now. I think we're walking west. You know, a little different this video than my traditional ones. But I am a nature lover and I do love getting away from everything. And enjoying the sights and sounds of the trees, the birds, the fresh air. Now, I was hoping to see something today. There's a reason I came here to Angrion. There's actually been, you know, this has been a strange year. There's been floods, there's been microbursts, uh, all kinds of different things. But one of the things that have been happening lately is there's a butterfly, I wouldn't call it an infestation, more of a, I would say a cluster of butterflies that have somewhat invaded the city. Very beautiful butterflies, they're not monarchs. They look very similar to monarchs, but they're not. They're called the either painted lady or lady painted butterfly. And I was hoping to come here because apparently if you come out to the wooded areas and the parks, there's quite a quite a lot of them apparently. I didn't see any yet here. And surprisingly enough, near where I work in downtown, near Peel and Atwater and McGill around there in the downtown core, there's quite a lot of them. And you can't really look five minutes without seeing one fly by. So I'm going to try to do later is, or tomorrow while we still have this warm weather because that's what's attracting them. I'm going to try to get some on video and document that. But for now let's walk through the park here. We're going to go through one of the lakes and work our way around the perimeter of this beautiful little lake here. And you can see here these leaves. More indicative that it's fall, these ones here you can see. Yellows, a little bit of orange. Very tranquil and peaceful here as the sun 
starts to set soon enough, earlier with each day. By the way, just a little uh, side note, if there's one song that I love that describes Autumn, it's called Autumn Tactics. And it's by Chicane, I believe it's an English music group, at least European music group, it's called Chicane. Look up the song Autumn Tactics by Chicane. A very beautiful song and uh, you know if you ever listen to that song while well, the sun's going down on a beautiful autumn day especially when the leaves are more colorful than this really is uh, quite a magical feeling you get at least that's me personally some swarms of flies there I don't know if the camera's picking that up but no butterflies hopefully I'll see a couple and again, I'm surprised because these are areas that they favor, you know, green areas, parks. I'm going to walk down here to the lake. And we'll wrap it up in a moment here. Just wanted again to share with my viewers a little bit of the scene of nature here in Montreal. This is one of the bigger parks in the city, by the way. Probably the biggest would be either Mount Royal or even Cap Saint Jacques Nature Park, which by the way I will be visiting soon. So yeah, if you want to take in a little bit of a break from the everyday life, if you live in the city, this is one of the places. Just go to Angry on Metro, get out, and it's literally right there. Beautiful blue sky. And you know, one of the things, on a personal note, I, uh, unfortunately I have something called floaters in my eyesight. Maybe some of you out there have that as well. Whenever you look at the sky or a lit background, a light background, um, you see all kinds of different shapes in your eyes. It's like, uh, how can I explain it, like cobweb shapes, uh, little round things. And... So usually whenever I look up at the sky or there's a, a light, it's called uh, floaters, and it's basically the fluid in your eye has little particles in it, and some people have them more than others. And, uh, you know, whenever I look at the sky, I tend to see these. And they're kind of like little cells, that's the best way I can describe it, little cells that just hover over my vision. And, you know, it's, it's annoying at times, I've learned to adapt to it, but... Uh, Maybe some of you out there have those as well. Can be annoying, like I said, but uh, you know, things could be worse. And uh, right now, by the way, these are berries that you see here. These berries right now are in season. You know, from this angle, it actually looks like grapes, doesn't it? They're not grapes, though. They're, uh, I think they're, I don't know if they're toxic, but they're definitely not edible. I'll try to get a, a little bit here for my viewers to see up close. Don't worry, it's just a little piece I've taken off. The, the birds eat them all the time. They're one of their favorites, especially this time of year. Try to zoom here, try to focus in. Again, it's not the greatest to focus because this camera likes to focus on the background of whatever I'm trying to film. I know, sometimes you have to get really up close. Ah, oh, well, this isn't working out. But anyways, you get the idea. These little berries here are all over at this time of year. Kind of like the apples. You know, it's that time of year when they, they start coming out. And uh, what else do we have here? Let's give you a little idea of the plants that are native to this area. Oh, there's some snails here. Look at this. There's a snail right there. It's a small one. Again, the camera wants to focus on the background. Well, oh, anyways. Try to get it from a different angle here. So 
see if we can see more snails around. More leaves there that are turning beautiful red. Of course, the flag of Canada consists of a red maple leaf. And basically that red maple leaf is from the maple tree, the same tree that we get our maple syrup from. And around this time of year is when those leaves turn that bright red. Yep. I don't see any yet, but they will be coming soon. Anyways, well, I'm going to wrap it up now. And, uh, like I said, I hope in the coming days and weeks I'll get a lot more videos, especially as the leaves start changing color. You can see most of them are still green like these. But, uh, you know, I want, I want to get more video under more like this color, the yellow. And of course they have the, the yellow, the red, the orange. So yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that little break from uh, the traditional videos. And uh, like I said, I want to get more nature videos for all my viewers out there. And uh, for now I'm going to wrap it up and wish you all a very good evening. See you all soon.